Good morning, everyone. It's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And while the event is still here, I figured we would take the new meta into it, and we'll take on the Heavenly Conquest, Veldora, and Emil's stage using the new Festive Memories team, or some semblance of the Festive Memories team, because it's very much not complete, and it's missing it, its DPS, so... We're going to have to make a few substitutions. Thankfully, it's rather generic, um, but Veldora and especially Emil's, these are not easy stages to do. Veldora is much easier. Emil's is just awful. Uh, but Veldora, he's got over a million HP, 1.3. He's got high defense. He does a whole bunch of stuff that, if we are protected by a barrier, doesn't really affect us. Uh, you know, his, his alt is an AoE but it's only one all to turn, so if we have a barrier up, we'll just negate it. The counterattack turn, we can just send like one orb or an alt, depending on what we want to do, and just negate that. The poison and frostbite, um, we can negate that damage as well. And we just need to find a team that can do enough damage against him. And then a Mills is an entirely different story, because he's just a straight up dick. And he's got almost 2 million HP, and he likes to hit like 5 times in a row, so... Even if we have three stacks of barrier, you're still going to die. Probably. So let's build a team and let's jump in. Alright, the first team, well, the only team I'm going to use in this entire video, is Albus. Soe from Ogre's Pride. He's on the banner right now. Maybe it pulled him, maybe it didn't. I, I just need an orb changer. I need someone else to go alongside uh, Momiji and Redis because they only change you know, one of each color, or just one color in general, so I need someone to be versatile enough to change, like, those random one orange, one green turns. So, Soe works, because he can convert any two orbs of any color. You could bring, if you're going to do, like, a physical focus team, you could bring Tempest Sleep Benimaru, or Guy, or Violet, like, anyone who can just special convert blue orbs. Um, Momiji, obviously, because she's also part of the meta, and Redis. Redis is going to be good because of the stacking Pierce power, at least on... Idle Shuna, and then Momiji for that gigantic alt resistance down. And because Veldora is an AoE alt, that means we're getting three stacks per alt hit. So it's only going to take three alts to get her maxed out at the 180%. And then we've brought Ogre's Pride Shuna as our primary damage support, or damage dealer, and then Idle Shuna as backup DPS. So turn one, we got an okay hand. Um, you know, I would have preferred to have, like, a full hand of oranges so we can convert with, uh, Momiji, but five, five orbs for someone is good, which means we can really jumpstart getting Shuna's alt. She is gonna be the big damage dealer here, and then turn two was good, because now we just have to use Soe, and this is exactly why I brought a special converter, because if I didn't, you know, I'd, I'd have to use two skills for that, and just be a waste. So, let's put the barrier on. Veldora is going to alt us here, but it's only that alt and then nothing else. So we're going to just negate that completely this turn, which is good. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then the alt will hit us, but it won't actually do anything. So all his crit and magic and stuff doesn't matter. The barrier is gone. The poison and frostbite, however, does kick in, and that will do damage to us. But funny thing I've learned is that if you have both procs of poison and frostbite, it is combined into one damage. So if you have a barrier and it they both proc, it's only going to break the barrier once, which I found kind of interesting. So let's put the barrier back on. So now Shuna has two stacks. We have the heal charm because we're going to need it. And then we'll send these blues and we're just trying to get alts for Shuna. Both Shunas technically. But here, Veldora does one hit. All right, destroys that barrier. But then... One hit to the bearer, even though we have both Poison and Frostbite on Ogre's Pride Shuna. So that's very good, that it doesn't hit twice, because that would be kind of unfortunate. So we learned that today, and now we'll bring Momiji in, use her convert, and it's pretty much just an exercise of how many blue orbs of Shuna can I get today. So uh, we're not really getting that many for our new king character, but she already does have an alt. The reason I brought Ogre's Pride Shuna to begin with is because she is a triple alt swapper, and she's got the personal 120% magic buff. She also has weakness strike for everybody, but we're type neutral. Veldora doesn't have an element, so weakness strike means absolutely nothing to any unit ever in this stage. But the 120 magic buff is important, 
and having the triple alt swap on herself is usable. Good here. This is the counterattack turn, so I don't want to send anything. And I don't want to send these alts because I want a nuke. But I'm trying to debate who who I should send an orb with and get countered. So we're just going to break Idol Shuna's barrier and then we'll take that hit. Not a big deal, but I didn't want to send an alt because it's not where I'm not ready to nuke yet. And I didn't want to send a whole bunch of orbs and just have ourselves take unnecessary amounts of damage. So Soe comes in, we will orb change with him, and then we can bring Redis in. That could have gone badly, like it could have changed the two greens and left the orange, but thankfully it worked out for us. So we'll put another shield on, we'll put it back onto Idol Shuna since she broke it last time, and then we'll put another shield on everybody. And now, I mean, we haven't really taken that much damage overall. Like, we've taken a few hits here and there, yeah, sure, but, you know, a lot of teams, we'd be half HP at this point, because we've taken alts, we've taken counters, we've taken just normal hits overall, we've taken the poison and frostbites, but here, it's like, we're, we're surviving, we're chilling, and we're just getting alts, and it's turn seven, and we're halfway through this clip already, <laughs> which, it really goes to say something about the damage output of this team. Um, what I've found is that this team has a lot of skill points, except when you nuke. There's a lot of things that you can do here, but when you get to the nuke, you know, we're in the age of 90 skill point buffs, and we are capped at 150. So even though they raised it to 150, like, that's great. Uh, we need more. So I, I, I might expect this to work, like the Determination of Prosper team, where some unit, whether it be the Maribel or Violet comes in, and gives us extra skill points temporarily after like eight turns. I, I kind of would expect that to happen for this team as well, since it runs almost the same as Prosper team. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see. That's a good hand. Now we can get the EX alt, so we'll bring in you for Redis. We'll do the alt swap, and then we can just use Soe's orb change by taking out Momiji. And then we'll have the EX alt for Ogre's Pride Shuna, and we'll be just about ready to go. And every single stack of Albus, remember, is giving us 30% alt damage. So by the time we hit the nuke turn, we're going to be really, really high up on that. Plus, we'll have the magic buff, and we're going to try and have the synergy buff and the alt resistance down from the Momiji. And that's going to be really important, because that's going to be 180% alt down, plus what whatever ridiculous number of alt damage up we have. Uh, this turn also works out because Momiji. So, like, we need orb changers. And we got orb changers. Unlike a certain team that just recently came out that does not have orb changers, then I think we all know what we're talking about. So, let's use the synergy buff to put it on both Shunas, and then we have points. So, let's also use the personal buff for Shuna, and we're just going to burn this turn out of here. So, I'll take you out now. We've got shields, we're just going to send these oranges and pray for a better hand next turn, and thankfully we do get a better hand. So this is an alt turn, we have a barrier ready to go, 25 points, we have 29, so we're right on the cusp, and now we can ensure that we have 150 skill points ready next turn to use the massive debuff from Momiji, and still get one more stack of alt damage. So this will be turn 11. Not great, but we haven't really taken much damage still. Like, everyone's still pretty tip-top, especially with the heal charm. So, no one has to be up front to use this, because it's giving pierce to everybody, and then the 180 alt resistance down is just a debuff. And we've already applied the synergy buff, and we've already applied the magic buff. If you wanted, you could have just held off and used synergy buff now, because we have points for it. But, eh, oh well. It is what it is. So we'll bring the two Shunas in, one more stack of alt buff, and then we'll take a look at what we're rocking. And it is 300% alt damage, plus the 180% alt resistance down, plus the 50% synergy power because Shuna is uh, skill fused, 370, and then Shuna does 1.6 million because she has that extra 120 magic buff. 1.6 million. I, Veldora only has like 1.3 million HP or something. So that worked out fairly well, and we didn't really take a lot of damage. Now let's go to the stage where we're going to take a lot of damage. Okay, so we're running the same team, 
I don't need to show you again. But we've reset for a good turn one. This is what I was looking for in the first clip. It's just like an orange convert turn one. So we just get full hand of blues. And then we have both Redis and Soe able to convert turn two. But Emil's much harder stage. Not just because he has more HP, but because he's got the randomness. He's got the alt yoink. He stuns. He does a whole bunch of stuff on top of hitting you like six times in a row. Like that. So Shuna already under half HP and it's only turn two. And Idol Shuna is stunned, which is not a super big deal. So we can bring Redis in, we could use her orb change, and then we could bring Soe in and do his convert for the two oranges. Remember that we have the heal charm on, which is going to be really important for this stage. More so than the Veldora stage. Like, if you don't have a heal charm on this team and you try it, uh, you're going to die. And I'm going to tell you right now, spoiler alert, someone does die in this run. It's not a perfect run, but... I'm not, I'm not going to sit here for another three hours trying to do this. So we have an alt for Ogre's Pride Shuna, and that's pretty much the only thing that we need. We don't need two EX alts. We just need an alt and an EX for her. And now Idol Shuna is pretty much knocking on death's door. So get out, and I never want to see you again. So we're going to have to run with a gimped team because we can't really bring Idol Shuna back up front ever. Kind of unfortunate. It is what it is. You just have to deal with it. But let's put a shield up, and then let's change the orbs again. We'll do another stack of Albus. We'll give us the barrier. So one barrier across the board, and then four on our important character, which is good. Uh, it's going to get deleted, though. And counterattacks. This team really does not like counterattacks, because it just deletes barriers. So there's the AoE. Tick out both Soe and Rebus barrier. Left three stacks for Shuna. That's good. This alt, though from Rimuru. We have, if we have a barrier up, it'll block the damage, but the alt effect of Rimuru will remove all remaining barrier stacks. So if you have 10 stacks of barrier and he ults you, great, you, you dodge the alt, but you no longer have a barrier at all. Like you lost those nine remaining stacks. Kind of unfortunate because then he's got follow-up orbs and they kind of hurt. So we'll send six. All right. And here's the alt. And boom, barrier destroyed, everything down to zero, and then one, two, three, three hits. And then he healed himself, too, so it's like we haven't even done anything for five turns. But I didn't want Arshuna up there in case she got just sniped down, because it happens. Even in this fight, and even in the beatdown battle, you can get sniped. They, they can just really decide to hate you and just target one character. It reminds me of Conquest Millum when it came out, and I was just starting the game, and she just hated one character, and four-shot them to death. It's probably going to happen here. So, we're at a long-form fight. He's fine now. We've got a barrier up. That counter is unfortunate, because it just deletes part of our barrier. We're going to be here for a little bit longer, though. Like, we need the damage. We have, But we have the EX ult, and <laughs> we had a four-hit barrier, and he six-shot us. So we dodged a lot of it, but that's what I'm talking about is that he could really focus down, and he could really do... Like, if Redis had taken that, probably would have died, if not been very close to death. And that would have been pretty much a dead run, because I can't have two characters at death's door. So the fact that he hit Shuna is both a blessing and a curse. But she's ready to go. We've used her buff now, so she's just going to chill in the back. And at this point, I need another ult from somebody anybody at this point i need an alt because if shuna can do 1.6 million against veldora and Emils has 1.8 and higher defense means our alt is not going to be as strong which means i need someone else to cut into that hp because we have not done jack crap to his health bar in seven turns but i need to be ready to alt him on turn eight otherwise he puts up a stun, he binds us, and then by the time we're unbinded and unstunned, he has another alt yoink, and then pretty much someone is dead at that point. So you need to kill on turn 8 with this team. You need to find a way. And here, I'm just going to send the four oranges, because there's nothing else I can do. I want the Soe alt, because he can get the synergy power buff, and the alt resistance down, and the alt damage. So he will help cut into Emil's HP bar. But it's very important. And I would have rather have preferred to have like someone else up front, but I can't. Because Idol Shuna would die, and Ogre's Pride Shuna would lose her buff. So I'm going to have to swap out two alts here, which is unfortunate, and only get one back. 
but let's use the debuff. It's not at full power, though, unfortunately, because it's only turn 8. It's at 160%, if I remember correctly, which, thankfully, is enough. Barely enough. So we'll bring Idle Shuna in. We'll use her buff. We already used the alt resistance down. We'll do one more stack of alt damage, and then we'll check what we're rocking. And it is... 270%. So not as high as the Veldora one, but we also haven't gone that far. And then Synergy Power, Magic Buff, and then Emil is at 160% alt down. And the Weakness Resistance means nothing. So we need to send the Soei alt, and then we need to send this full power Shuna. So Soei does 214, which is barely enough. Because we do 1.69 right there. Like, that is right on the cusp of killing and not killing at the same time. But we got it done, and the barrier technically did save us from dying on multiple different turns. So was it useful? Did it help us? Yes. Is it the greatest thing since sliced bread? No, it's not. And I actually probably would have preferred to use the Prosper team in this fight versus this team, because it's got consistent damage reduction. The super guard is always there. Like, it doesn't just disappear after getting hit once. So, uh, it's, uh, it, it got the job done. That's the whole point of the video, right? Someone did die, but, uh, oh well. Uh, well, did someone die in this run? Hold on. Oh no, someone didn't. Okay, that was the previous run then. We were almost dead. Idol Shuna almost died. There was another run I did where this happened and we tried to nuke, but someone was dead. I think Momiji died and we just were not even close to killing. But, again, the team got it done, and that's the whole point. It was not fun, and I don't recommend doing it. So let me know what you guys think, but that's it from me. Take it easy, and I'll see you all later.